You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. Sorry about the rush from last time, you guys, but, um, yeah, that's gonna be a to be continued from previous, but the only reason is because I can't do, like, um, 15 minutes, you know, how that is. But anyway, um, <clears throat> a little personal there, sorry, but, um, yeah, let's continue. Kimizuki was still fuming a little bit. I can't believe this. She had my curse gear. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Maybe you shouldn't keep it lying around. How did she get even contact with my curse gear? What the heck is going on? He demanded. Will you calm your jets, please? Honestly, what is up with you guys? You guys are really hyped up. I kind of like Yoichi better because he's the only one that's pretty much of a guy who just won't put up with such arguments with any of you. Ugh, I can't stand it. Lola complained. Ay, 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 ay. She was too busy trying to look on the MPD. She even pulled out mint and chewed on it, but she was just too upset and frustrated. Uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to look something up. Excuse me for one moment. She turned her back on him. However, Lola let out. Holy. Are you serious? Son of a bitch. What? Lola looked over at him. She had a bit of a guilty look, and she said, Uh, nothing. <laughs> just, uh, uh, just looking at something. Fine. King Mizuki said with a sigh, looking away. He glanced over. S just to take a sneak peek, he looked over her shoulder. But his eyes widened when he saw what it was. What the hell? Ah! that however Kimisuki grabbed the MPD and looked over at it what the hell is this how did you how did you have like an installed camera or something no 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 I didn't no I didn't I, I honestly swear then where did you get it this machine um it's supposed to look up memories and 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 and, and other stuff I don't believe you. It does! Try it yourself, if you want. You know, you're really up to something. <laughs> I'm really up to something. I never even had a good feeling about you ever since we met on that day. When you threatened me. <laughs> Dude, you were yelling at me. And then I heard you mutter under your breath, I give her a piece of my mind. You were stalking me, he said. Oh no, well, following you would be great. Stalking, ooh, stalking. Stalking is a strong word, my friend. <laughs> hmm. Funny. I can't believe you found it. I know. Jeez Louise. I can see why Lola, me, would not end up in this situation. What would Lola do, huh? Lola said sarcastically. Hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know. <laughs> However, Kimizuki sighed. Oh, will you shut up? But no, seriously. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be that bad. The way you describe it, it wasn't that bad. I mean, yeesh. I feel there's a conspiracy theory. I think Coretto could be some sort of, um, working with the vampires, maybe. What? That's crazy. 
Why do you think the vampires in the Japanese Imperial Army are hunting you down? You and Kimizuki have that serif gene. That's what Shinoa said. I just find it hard to believe a guy like you. That made Kimizuki angry. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. It's just unusual. I mean, a guy like you caring for his own sister, having a few banters with Yuchiro Hiaguya? I mean, honestly. Kimizuki just nodded. Yeah, you got a point. You have a point. However, there was one day when Lola woke up along with the others, but they found you, Barrer, and Kimizuki were gone. However, they heard Gurren exclaim, Is she crazy? They hurried over to see. Gurren was holding a note. She can't be serious going off by herself with those two. Those two troublemakers. Ugh. Kimizuki was gone? Lola thought, oh no. Rosemary? And Pansy? Oh crap. Shinoa asked what was the trouble. Gurin said, you want to know what's the trouble? She leaves this freaking note behind. What does she think this is, a joke? The Japanese Imperial Army and the Moon Demon Company is after them. And she thinks she's being reckless. However, Solo said, Gurren, please, you have to calm down. Oh no, don't you dare tell me to calm down. I risked my life trying to protect you. Trying to help him. He's a stubborn piece of work, I know that. And Kimizuki is no different. Sure, he's got a cool head, but when you is around, things between the two is like chemicals reacting in a bad way. And Barrer is really steaming up the pot in this nut house. You're all crazy, you know that? Lola spoke up. Now you listen. I know Barrera can be reckless, but she's not stupid. She knows what she's doing. Gurren looked over at Lola. Oh yeah? Do you know where she is? Where they are? However, Lola said, Um, uh, not really. I'm sorry, I wish I did. Then I would know. But I don't. Lola claimed. This made Gurren frustrated. Damn it. However, Lola noticed a figure standing there. She gasped. Katrina? Gurren looked up. The girl came in and said, Listen, I think I might be able to help you out. Who are you? I know Barrer. I really do know her. Please, don't get angry. I know where she is. You do know where she is, don't you? What is your name? Katrina Salvatore. I... Okay, Katrina Salvatore. Where are they? Katrina was about to speak when she suddenly had a vision. Lola's eyes widened. She could now see it. Oh my god. What's going on? Gurren demanded. Katrina! Where is you, Kimizuki, and Barrer now? He demanded. However, Katrina touched Gurren's arm. Gurren let out a cry of pain. However, what he saw startled him. Lola could see it too. She could see arms binded together above heads. She could see Barrer and Kimizuki and Yu screaming in agony. Katrina was letting out these utters. 
No, 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 Bree, Bree. This made everyone shocked. Then Katrina let go of Gurren, and she let out a blood-curdling scream before rushing out. Gurren and the others managed to get themselves ready. Off they went after her. Gurren couldn't talk. He couldn't believe what he just saw inside of his head. Solo managed to put a hand on his shoulder and said a few words. That calmed Gurren down a little bit, but he still had to protect you no matter what. Shinoa looked over at Lola, then looked back at the commander. Well, the lieutenant colonel. She didn't say anything, but Lola knew something was up with her. They managed to arrive in an abandoned looking place, and everyone exited from the vehicle and went inside. What they saw was like a horror show. Barrer, Shiho, and Hyaguya were a big mess. However, Barrer was screaming at Rosemary and her sisters, scaring them. It all became downhill when Pansy apologized. However, Barrera was just laughing and saying, You're sorry? You're sorry? <laughs> oh, you're sorry, 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 sorry, my ass! And she was screaming in agony. Lola cried out, No, Bree! Too late. Pansy was thrown out of the window, and she landed. Lola could hear Silver scream. Lola couldn't believe it. She heard Mitsuba saying, You, you killed her. You, you killed her. However, Barrera said, She's alive. Look out the window. Look out the freaking window. Shinoa placed her hands up and said, Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, we'll check. So they did, and sure enough, she was right. Barrer had a few exchanges with Rosemary. You think you can mess with my life? I got news for you. You, you let Ophelia know this. I'm... I'm coming for her, and I'm also coming for you, Rosemary, and your sisters. So don't you dare get inside my head or anybody else's ever again. Lola was shaken by this. But after Rosemary and her sisters escaped, the Japanese Imperial Army was right on schedule. They were about to arrest them. However, Katrina managed to distract them and led them away. However, Barrer and the others managed to get quicker and managed to follow her. They got right inside and everyone was just firing questions. However, Katrina just responded and also she came up with ideas that seem unrealistic. But they seemed true. However, Katrina wanted the Shinoa squad to come with her. However, at first they wanted to but they couldn't because... They couldn't leave anyone else behind. Katrina was understanding, but the guards came in until Katrina distracted them, stating her name and throwing the soldiers back, distracting them long enough to catch her. Barrer and the others managed to escape just in time. Well, that's it for now, but don't worry, we got more coming your way. I'm... Catherine Donovan. See you next time. Bye.